Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Earlier this year, Amy, a sex trafficking survivor who spent 15 years under the control of violent pimps, walked into a small courthouse in Cincinnati, Ohio, with 105 criminal charges on her record. An hour later, she left with all but two of the charges erased. For so long I've just been seen as a prostitute and a criminal, said Amy. Even though I managed to get clean and get away from my trafficker, I haven't been able to get a job and struggled to find someone who would rent me an apartment and just allow me to provide for myself. It's hard to describe the feeling that now I could get a second chance at life. Under Ohio Safe Harbor legislation, and similar laws across all states, Amy had the right to request that criminal charges she accrued while she was a victim of human trafficking were expunged from the public record. Yet anti-trafficking advocates across the U.S. are warning that a sudden decision by the Trump administration, effective immediately, to cut all funding for legal representation for survivors like Amy means that many other victims will now struggle to get their expungement cases into a courtroom. What if you are controlled by someone else and threatened with violence if you do not commit the crime? Nat Paul, National Survivor Network in a series of urgent appeals to the Department of Justice's Office for Victims of Crime, OVC, the American Bar Association, members of Congress, survivors, advocates, and law enforcement have called for a reversal of the decision they say will deny victims of human trafficking their legal rights. Many victims are forced or coerced into committing criminal acts while under the control of human traffickers. A 2016 survey by the National Survivor Network found 91% of respondents had been arrested while being exploited, and more than 40% had been arrested nine times or more.